Hey guys, so what you have to understand is initially we'll be creating the switch navigator. So we'll be navigating between the unauthorized stack and the authorized stack. So um, the thing that is quite similar between these two stacks are the drawer navigator, the stack and the tab navigator. So if we take a look in the app that I've made, with the sample app, here you can see initially we'll be taken into the unauthorized stack. So the drawer navigator comes from here so you can take a look this is our drawer navigator we have login and sign up screens inside our drawer navigator and the stack navigator comes from here so we can get the header and the tab navigator is here so we'll just have one tab navigator with pool as our tab and if we want to switch from this unauthorized stack to the authorized stack what we'll do is we'll um, press this button in the login screen so when the user logs in he'll be taken into the authorized stack now he's switching between from the unauthorized to authorized stack in the authorized stack similarly we have the drawer navigator um, the poll tab so here we have two polls tab and from the um, authorized stack if we want to um, switch to the unauthorized stack what we do is we'll press the logout button and now we are taken into the unauthorized stack so what we'll be creating today is the switch navigator and we'll be setting up react navigation to navigate between the authorized and the unauthorized stack so initially um, let's not see this i have created here two um, folders here called navigation and screens and so the thing about um, react navigation is we need to create a app container so we can pass into our app.esx file so let's create an app container here so app container .esx so app container and also the thing that we have to understand is if we are creating a web app as well um, in web uh, we have this routes over here you can see slash doc slash web support and things like that so if you are just creating an app container without the web support we won't be seeing these routes like this so to get the routes what you have to do is if you take a look um, under uh, uh, guides uh, web support you can see we can create a create a browser app and pass in our um, or switch between our uh, web and the iOS and Android so let's um, install this react navigation web and also install react navigation as well so what I'll do is rather than saying yarn and I'll go to package.json and here I just add it manually so react navigation so 3.11.0 is the latest one and react navigation slash web so it's the alpha one now so I'll just copy this thing over and under my no hoist I'll just add this in here and I also need to add the slash slash star so copy this I'll add in the slash star star over here I'll copy this again now I'll save this now now I can say um, let's go back to our root folder here I'll say yarn clean and I'll say yarn again so uh, um, our react navigation and navigation web gets installed in our app project so let's close this thing over here so let's create our app container so what we'll say is um, the thing that what we need to do is we need to switch between our web and the um, iOS and Android so to switch between that we can use the platform API platform so this needs to come from let's this gets installed first Okay, so I think now it will work. So 
like our TypeScript is not working. So we start our TypeScript server again. Okay, now it works. So platform dot select. We'll be selecting between the web and um, iOS and Android. So under web, what you have to do is you pass in the config. This is type any, and we'll pass into our create browser app. We'll pass in the config, and what we'll say is we will have the history. We'll say we need the hash to get the um, create browser app. Let's import that. So import the browser app. from the navigation web and under our iOS rather than saying iOS or Android like this what we can do is we can say default so default is both iOS and Android you can say config let's config the any and we'll pass in to each app container Inside our app container, we pass in the config and we get the app container from our React navigation. Okay, so after that, we need to export our app container and import in our app.asx. And before that, as we have said, we'll be creating our switch um, screen. So what I'll do is I'll export this, export default to get the app container. So this is a function now. And inside the app container, I'll create a create switch navigator. And inside the switch navigator, we'll be switching between our unauth stack. So unauth is unauth stack and the app. I'll be I'll be just calling this the app for the authorized stack. Stack and before creating that, let's pass in this um, app container to our app.tsx file. So let's remove this over here. Say app container, and that's it. So in our app container, um, initially, what we do is rather than creating this unauth and app stack, we create this two screen to switch between. Let's create the um, let's just call it login now. And the second screen will create a sign up. Sign up screen.tsx. So under login. So what, why I'm creating login and sign up right now is just to check if our application works. And later on we'll be creating our unauth stack where we'll have the drawer navigator and the stack navigator and the tab navigator and so on so just what I'll do is I'll create the login screen right now I'll pass in the login screen over here and we'll just check if, um, if the app works or not so in the login screen I'll import react first so cause login screen so we can pass in the types as well. So navigation screen component. And so this is a function. Let's return a view. And inside the view we'll say title should be capital T. I mean, this should not be title, this should be text. Oh my god. Text. And here we should say, now we say login screen. And let's copy that um, style sheet over here. Let's copy it over inside our login screen. Let's paste that thing. And inside our view, 
style is equal to styles dot container. Okay, I need to import style sheet first to make this thing work. So I'll import style sheet from React Native. Now I'll say container. Okay. So here I'll create a title as well. Title. Let's say font size is from 16 and let's say margin of 10. Okay, so here I'll pass in the style style dot title. Let's copy this thing over. Let's pass into our sign up screen. Paste it over here. Let's change this login to sign up. And let's um, remove this unauth stack and pass in login for now. I, I think I need to export it, so let's export it first to import it over there. So export default login screen and over here and sign up as well. And I need to change the name over here as well. Okay, so let's import that over here. Login screen. Sign. Sign up screen. Okay, let's start our app now. Change our directory to packages app. Yeah, on Android. I think I'm getting um, faster builds if I select local I'll remove my past um, metro bundler over here so let's go back and open up my um, device over here seems like this is the one I've created before let's take a look this is my local and you remove this Okay, it's bundling right now. You can see here below it's saying 60, 70%, 99%. Okay, now we are in the login screen. So in the login screen, what we have created is just um, it says login screen over here. So to switch between these two screens over here, if you take a look, these are two screens over here. To switch between login and sign up, what we can do is we create a button. Let's say a button. Button is coming from React Native. The title is let's say login for now and on press. Let's get the navigation from our let's um, restructure it. Let's get the navigation so we can navigate between this is a callback function. Uh, so navigation dot navigate. So we'll navigate to where we are navigating to is the um, sign up screen so that is app so we call app over here and that's it so let's take a look in our um, the device over here you can see uh, the login button if I press the login button now I'm taken into the sign up screen so if I make the same button over here in the sign up screen and pass in um, unauth um, this over here unauth so I'll be taken back into the login screen. So in the next video, um, we'll be creating our unauth and the auth stack. And um, we'll be creating most probably the drawer navigator as well. So that is it guys for this video. Thank you guys for watching.